be built. Call upon the name of the Lord. That God will help you. We will build the house fellowship in Gracia and the Sandy House beyond our expectation. Did, did you able to compare what we learned in our first house fellowship with what pastor said today? You will see that God really sent this message for us ahead because of the house fellowship we want to start in the Gracia, in Gracia and Sandy House. Call upon the name of the Lord that God will help them. To able to host us successful, successfully, they will have love to accommodate every one of us. I don't know if you take care or if you take note of what pastor said very well. The way somebody dress sometimes may surprise you. That is not a crime. The way somebody asks sometimes may surprise you. That is not a crime. All what you need is to share what you have gained and share it with them, with your neighbor, so that you can bring them to the house of the Lord. My dear mothers, my dear fathers, my dear brother, my dear sister in the Lord, I want you to remember today, if you have not known, that there's a place they call heaven. And one day, you will close your eyes. When you close your eyes, the time of judgment has come. The question you need to ask yourself is what have you, got, what have you done for the Lord? How many people you bring into the house of the Lord? How many people you bring to the Lord? Just look at yourself as if you are standing before God. And all those things is, need, is needed to be answered. Call upon the name of the Lord that whenever people are in problem, they are in challenge, we will be able to stay with them. We will be able to help them. We will be able to bring them out of the problem. It may be by calling them. It may be by praying for them. It may be by encouraging them. It may be by sacrifice one thing or the other you have. God will help you. You need to be informing them of the word of the Lord that can take them to heaven. Call upon the name of the Lord. That God will help you. God will ask you, what have you done for him? And it is all these things that's going to take you to heaven, nothing. What will be the benefit of you coming into the church of the Lord and you miss heaven? Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, your right hand, we don't let you miss heaven. Your friend, your family, your neighbor, your co-workers, your church members, your leaders, your members, your followers, we don't let you lose heaven, miss heaven. Call upon the name of the Lord. Heaven is real. It's a place of rest. We are coming inside the car today. We are discussing about age. God says, help me to able to count my days. 
That was from David. Yes, as we are counting our days, are we remembering that more we are getting to heaven, more we are getting to the last day, why by we want to carry our hand and we will not able to carry it. We want to carry our legs and we will not able to carry it. We want to speak, we will not able to speak. We want to drink, we will not able to drink. Why? Our souls have gone. Call upon the name of the Lord that in the last day you will not miss heaven, I will not miss it. Pray for one another. You have seen how we pray for our mommy Gracia this morning. The prayer continue this afternoon in the prayer meeting within three and four. We are still going to pray for her. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, his body will be a glory to the name of the Lord. The pain will go. She will enjoy the, the rest of her life by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. God will be with her and God will provide. All the provision she needs, God will provide for her. Our love towards God will not diminish. The grace of the Lord will be upon my grace. I pray for every one of us too, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the joy of the Lord will be upon us in Jesus' name. We will be faithful. We will be fruitful. God will be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of today's fellowship, uh, today's worship service. We thank you, Lord, because of how you taught us, you prepare us for the house fellowship that is coming. Lord, yes, we're supposed to meet last Sunday. We couldn't meet, apart from the first one we have met. The other one, as we are preparing to start, Father, you are going to prepare Gracia and Sandy for this purpose in Jesus' name. By the power and the blood, you will empower them. With all the characters we have seen in the fellowship, and by the power and the blood of Jesus, we have reason to glorify your name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us say amen. The church of the Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us be seated. Uh, let us know that we are in the house of the Lord. And then we have to be disciplined as if we are before judge in the court. When we are before judge, we know how we respect judge. We even call them my Lord. So God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Uh, it is my wish that God will give my grace grace again to listen to this message again when you get home or when you are at your and see step by step what pastor called fellowship as we are preparing to start as fellowship uh, in your house and grind sandy house uh, the first one is what can give me f what pastor called f today when pastor was according the fellowship the meaning of fellowship what does he call eh? what does he call f we didn't put it down eh? follow them okay so we can see you have to i told us that we need to be calling people we need to be inviting them we need to be challenging them to join. So that's what the pastor called to follow. I want us. I know our time has gone, but I want to see us if we follow it into detail. What does pastor call E? E, fellowship. Then he call E. What? Give me one. They define. So let us. 
uh, edify me, we don't corrupt one another. That's a good relationship, that's a divine relationship, that's a smooth relationship in our relationship. Uh, what is another one there among the E? Eh? Embracing his word. So when we are reading the Bible, let's everybody open our Bible. This is the house of the Lord. You get what I'm saying? This is house of the Lord. Let's open our Bible when we are reading the Bible. It's quite different from that's what makes us to be disciplined. And that's a soldier that is going to heaven. Uh, it's quite different from when we are at home or at party or somewhere Yes, I know our time has gone. I mean, we are we soon release us now. What I just want to see if we follow it very well. Uh, what is L? Eh? Law. Law from them. Learn from them. Bless you. I I root love. Learn from them. So when we come to lead. When Mommy Gracia is leading, it may even be Sandy that will lead. It may be Akewume, it may be uh, Sister Lisa, it may be uh, Sabi, it may be my wife, it may learn from what they are saying. Don't say, what is this boy saying? What is this one is saying? You get what I'm saying? That won't make us different from the other people. That won't make us a Christian. If you are a Christian, people do not see the difference in your life, you are not. People must be able to say, this is a Christian. This is this kind of the people. So that's why we are coming to church. And that's why I'm, we are encouraging us to come to church. You can't compare yourself now with all what you have learned today. You can't compare yourself with people who are sleeping. There may be a circumstances, yes, I believe, but there must be differences. When people see you, they know that this is a Christian. The word that is coming out of your mouth, your act, your behavior, show that this is a Christian. So what is the second L? Yeah? Line love to one, love one another. Uh -huh. You get what I'm saying? Love one. The kind of that love is a divine love. It's not a corruption love. It's not the love that will lead us to hell. It's a divine love. What is W? You didn't rise. What is W? One, one another. When you see me do something that is not good, one me. When you see Sister uh, Brad uh, that is not good, when Sister Lisa see something that person the one me. You know you you want them in love. You want them in love. You get what I'm saying? That's the reason for fellowship. So that's why we are going to gather together. We are going to be gathering together. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. When you are a Christian, there is soberness. You sober. What other people think lightly, you don't take it lightly. You serious about your Christian journey. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. St uh, Stand with them. When we are in challenges, stand with us. I, I can never forget, Sister Lisa, uh, there was, you may not know, I kept that money. I, she may not know that I didn't spend that money. But when my car was 40, I don't say anyone of you should do it. I don't say you should do it. But I was so challenged. And she said, Pastor Matthew, this $15. You need to prepare your car. 
You know, that didn't touch mind. So I'm not saying it to, to me. You get what I'm saying? So let's help one another. I, I've told us anytime you want to go somewhere, call me. That's part of what the church can, can do to stand with you. You get what I'm saying? Call me if you want anywhere to go. Call me if I'm available. If not, you can call me one day ahead. And then I will be able to plan so that I can accommodate us. Oh no, do not condemn anyone. If you see me, there's no place I'm not eating. I think there's any place. That one does not mean you shouldn't be disciplined. You get what I'm saying? But as you are eating in their wars, honor them. Eat, eat it with honor. You get what I'm saying? I get to, uh, sister, maybe all of us get to Brother Sabi house. He offer us coffee, not because of whom he is, but because of the love of God. We eat that food. We don't condemn. If there's anything, if you do it this way, it's better. If you do it this way, it's better. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Inform them. If there's anything that is good, inform them that this is bad, this is not good, this is bad, this is not good. Then among every one of them, pray for them. That's the last one. The other one, I miss it because I was trying to broadcast our service in Facebook. So, so pray. Uh, if you see anything in the life of any one of us, pray that God, this particular person, Father, be with him, help him, put that thing in the prayer. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. So, uh, from that, uh, I want to appreciate every one of us. You can see we have a full house. I am encouraged. God will help us in Jesus' name. And God will continue to help us in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, do not stop coming. Always thinking of what you can do to be in the church. Always think of what you can do to be in the church. And we come very early. God will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, I will give us two, two cards again. I know I gave those people who are in the Bible study three, three, last time. But let me share two, two card again. Let us be, if you have not given somebody one day, do not be satisfied until you say, this is our church. I want you to come. So give everybody two, two. And God is good. We continue to help us in Jesus' name. Do you think we can have our fellowship today? Hmm? Two for one. For one. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, God bless you. So continue to give it to one, one person, your friend, your family member, and God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Do you think we can have our fellowship today? Eh? Okay. I, I, especially those who are going to host us. Uh, Mommy Sandy and uh, Grace, uh, Mommy Grisha, do you think uh, if there's anything, it's okay? If we cannot have it, but do you think we can have it or we should still hold on? Do we think we can have our fellowship today in your house or we should still postpone it? We can have it. I want you to talk. Yeah, yeah. Is it possible? It's going to take maybe one hour, one and a half hour, from six to six thirty maximum. Okay, so thirty. Uh, we have or uh, okay, don't let us because we have been having in Sister Lisa house before, but because you are new, uh, we want to move. By the time we are having in Sister Lisa, you have not joined us before because you are new. We want you to see how it's going. And then if anybody, uh, is, uh, let me know so that I can pick you along. God will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
I will appreciate it every one of us. Please. Oh, oh that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Um, any time, any time. If you can't go today, just since I, since I have been a very faithful member to the church, God will continue to help her in Jesus' name. I uh, really appreciate her. Uh, uh, sometime before, I always take picture. The reason why I take that picture is that we put it on Facebook sometime so that people will you see, oh, so this is the church, Sandy is going. I will join them. This church, oh, I know this woman. I met him somewhere. I will join them. So what people always complain about that, that we don't, sometimes we don't study before we take. But now, you know, I'm learning every day too. So if I send a picture that's not good, I will not put it there. So please see, allow me. Uh, do you allow me to be taking it sometime? Okay. So I can be poor. Oh, this is our surface today. When people see it, they encourage. Picture. Yes, I, I took it already. I took it already. I took it to picture already. So, uh, but I'm, I'm learning. Then I was not, I didn't, I will just put them, bam. So some where are, some people are not standing very well, but I've learned my lesson. So if there's anyone that is not good, I will not put it, I will remove it. But it take it bring people to the uh the I allow to me to take me too, because when I took you, uh yeah, also. so that's another area. Bible study tomorrow, I know the eight of every one of us. God will continue to help us in Jesus. We have a, uh, one of our brothers that has been joining, or he has not been joining Sunday, but has been joining every one. Mm. So, As I tell them, we broadcast both in Facebook. People are watching us in Facebook. They are watching us in Zoom, and they are watching us in YouTube. So if you go to that YouTube or Facebook now, you will see us. People are watching us. Uh, and I want to suggest that every third week, we should be listening to Pastor Dada instead of GS. Pastor Dela is our pastor from Washington, D.C. We have always been doing that. Now that things are getting better, we can improve on them. I can remember, I want you to take note of that. Third way, Pastor Dada message. Then in the last week, as far as we have not started the la- uh, inside the scripture, we will start by the grace of the Lord. Uh, but I'm still looking to some things. We are going to be watching drama we pick drama from YouTube that talk about Christianity. Maybe short drama, about 30 minutes. Or every last week. Every last. So, now the way we want to be doing you will not like to miss anything. Uh, I can remember that one other one to be continue to be in the... Do you write it down? Last week, before message, drama, third week, Pastor Dada. Please, I want you to put that in the... So, having said that, I want to appreciate Every one of you, once again, God bless you. You are the pillar of this church, and God will continue to use you mightily in Jesus' name. The joy of the Lord will be your strength in Jesus' name. I see that many times when I send prayer meeting, uh, Sister Lisa, I think I couldn't get him yesterday. Uh, the time she called me was the time we are having prayer meeting. So I told her that I want her to be calling other people for the prayer. Like, maybe... 20 minutes to the prayer, she called them. That don't forget to join us in prayer. So anytime I send things out, uh, like when I sent it out yesterday, uh, Sandy was asking me, uh, what about, oh, is it, for, is, it is for words. You will see that prayer number there, or if you touch it, you will see, maybe you go to YouTube. So all those numbers, 
the uh, in this at the back of our program. Uh, Sister Lisa and the Brad Metri, Sabit will always join. I don't know why she's is becoming this nowadays, but I want to encourage him again so you will see them here. Having said that, I want to appreciate every one of us. The joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength. God will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. Let's open our book to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10. Are we there? Second Corinthians, second. Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10. Now, he who ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sowing, and increase the food of your righteousness. God will increase our food of righteousness in Jesus' name. Let's raise our titan of In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us learn to say amen after we have said, In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we thank you, O Lord, because of your love. We thank you, Lord, because of your grace. We thank you, Lord, because of your mercy. Out of what you have given to us today, we bring this token. Let it be acceptable before you in Jesus' name. And let your name be glorified. As we are go, as we are putting all this into the offering bag, oh mighty Father, let church use it for the glory, glorification of your name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace together. Let us start off with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, you can take coffee. You can take whatsoever you have there. Then take soda, two, two soda each. God bless you all.